Hi, this is Kevin Thomas, and welcome to the At Home Film Festival. We're in December, so for the rest of the month, we're going to take a look at Christmas movies. And this week's theme is making the Yuletide gay adjacent. What does that mean? Well, we're not really doing gay movies, but some of these movies might have the gay best friend or something, a little campiness or the sense and sensibilities that the gays would love or an icon like Dolly Parton in them. The gays love her, but I'm not doing any of Dolly's movies or specials because we could do a whole show about her. So let's see what seven movies that I found that are gay adjacent and let's watch one each day of the week or binge them all if you like, but let's go now. In doing my research from last year, I came across I Believe in Santa, which is back on Netflix. Um, it's okay of a movie until uh, the gay parts what makes it elevated. It's about a straight couple. She hates Santa and Christmas, and she meets a guy that actually believes in Santa Claus, and he's super Hallmark Lifetime level network loving of the holiday season. So how are these two going to get along? We'll see. But... What makes this gay adjacent is he has a best friend played by Sasha and Bot who steals the show in every scene he's in. He's quite adorable, very cute personality and looks wise. And there's one line he says in this movie that proves he's gay, but we never talk about it after that. But I think the actor ad libbed. In fact, let's take a look at that line, shall we? We're just getting started. Come on, Tom. Look at all the fun people are having out there. Cute guys for me, cute gals for you. I bet you he had lived that. So it is a fun movie, but it's elevated by Sasha and Bot, the great co-star and scene stealer. If you tune into Stars, you're going to find how the Gringa Stole Christmas, very cute little movie, just came out. It's a George Lopez film, so it's got his level of humor, very funny, but it's more about a young woman who's bringing her gringo home for Christmas, played by Jack Kilmer, Val Kilmer's son. Ah. Uh, so, of course, it's a straight couple getting together, but what makes it fun is we've got our fun gay co-star, Anthony Zuniga. Uh, those that follow him on TikTok know him as Tony Directs. He's also on Instagram Reels. Very good following. He's super cute and adorable. He comes in in a surprising buddy role in this film, and of course, he's very appealing. And when you're done with this, be sure to look up Tony Directs on social media and follow him because he's always got a lot of great content. In fact, here he is now pulling up. Oh, look, there he is. Hey, Tony. Oh, good, 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 good. I'd uh, love to have him around. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you don't have the Hallmark Channel, but you have Peacock, you could watch Catch Me If You Claws. Not the greatest plot in the world, but it's a straight movie, yes, but Luke McFarlane, who's the lead, is gay in real life. So let's applaud him. Yes. <laughs> There's also a scene where they go to this theater club that they say, oh my God, I've got three Tony. <laughs> if that doesn't sound gay adjacent, I don't know what does, right? Ladies of the 80s, A Diva's Christmas, the title alone tells you it's gay adjacent. It's got all of our favorite soap opera stars. It's Morgan Fairchild, Lonnie Anderson, Donna Mills, Linda Gray, Nicolette Sheridan. Oh, you can't get more gay adjacent than that. They play soap stars, which of course are embraced by gays. And then they got cute guys thrown in on the side. You could watch this all month long if you want a lifetime this month. So why don't you? <laughs> yep, there's our divas. Mm -hmm. They're back, bitches! I never find a reason not to showcase The Last Holiday with Queen Latifah. It's on Paramount+. Plus. Technically, there seems nothing gay about it. No character is a little flamboyant or in the closet. They don't even allude to it. But Queen Latifah, out as a lesbian, and LL Cool J is certainly nice to look at. And as a gay person, we love movies that involve food and fashion. This has both of them. So... Oh, I just love this story, too, where here she's learning she's going to die. And then she goes to this great resort, spends all her money, has the greatest time. Oh, that is so over the top and fun. Hell, I want to do that. Yes, sir. You go, queen. The Man Who Came to Dinner, which is on Max and TCM this month, is actually, uh, like, Betty Davis is one of the gays queens. And she's in this, but... She actually is the one that got this to the screen, but this really isn't a big movie for her. It really is focused on Monty Woolley in the lead character of a critic that goes to this small town, he gets injured, and then he just sets up house in someone else's house 
and really makes everybody be a servant. He's very annoying. He's very acid tonguey. He's very much the gay queen, but we don't ever hear those words. But it's really a fun movie. It was based upon a famous play. Betty Davis actually saw the play and wanted to make it into a movie with the play's co-star John Barrymore, who also would have been great in this. But due to his health and his drinking and forgetting his lines, John Barrymore did not get the role. But I still think Monty Bully is really good in this. And as you just saw there, there is a little cat fighting going on. So if it's not gay, it's definitely gay adjacent. Fun movie. It's great at the holidays too, because these movies all have something to do with Christmas. So stick around and you'll see it in that movie as well. Okay. Our last movie on this list is my favorite movie, Auntie Mame from 1958, based upon a play and then became a musical. Oh my God, this Rosalind Russell was up for six Oscars. She's so over the top. It goes to other holidays, but it also includes Christmas. It's the aunt we all want. It's, oh, it's so, the dialogue is super campy and modern. You know, and I know the gays of LA, they go to the theater every year to see this movie live and in person to start the holiday season because it is so festive and lovely. You must watch it. You could buy it for a few dollars on Amazon Prime, but it's on TCM a lot this month. Don't let Auntie Mame slip away without watching it because it's really, and it's based upon a true story. It's the story of that young man that she's the aunt of. Oh, I love this movie. Now, if you can look for it on TCM, warning. Do not accidentally watch Mame the Musical. Mame the Musical is also on TCM this month. And although the musical was great on stage, they didn't hire Angela Lansbury for the movie. They hired Lucille Ball. Yes, everybody loves Lucy, but not here. Lucy's a little old for the part. Um, when Lucy Ricardo shows she couldn't sing, well, this Lucy can't sing either. Um, Madeline Kahn was first in this movie in a co-starring role, but she backed out. Um, she was so happy that she made that decision. Yeah. Arthur's also in it, and she reprises her role from Broadway, and she's actually good in this movie, as is Robert Preston. And it's not the most hated movie, maybe disliked a lot. My, sis my sister-in-law, Jenny, hey, Jenny, she actually loves this movie. I think she likes this better than Auntie Mame. I think Jenny and I might need to have a talk. But anyway, um, I'm giving you both worlds because I don't want you to accidentally watch this, or now you're going to watch to see if it's as bad as I think. In fact, if you watch this, I would love your comments to say, yes, Kevin, you're right. Or Kevin, you don't know what you're talking about. I thought it was a lovely film. But don't judge until you actually hear Lucy sing. And I hear that they put together a lot of her vocals from different takes to make one really good one. Anyway, uh, anti-mame, not mame. Well, that's our show of the week. I hope you share mm -hmm, and subscribe and come back next week. As we leave, I'm trying to encourage you to go to Tony Directs on YouTube and on TikTok and on Instagram Reels and watch his funny, funny content. As we're saying goodbye, we're looking at a little of one of his episodes. I really think he's fun. Oh, Thank you, Tony, and thank you all for watching, and I will see you next week with even more gay Christmas content. <laughs> yes, queen!